first thing you're going to need is a high voltage power source. I have a oil thing, transformer, and it runs on 120 volts, output is 10,000 volts, and to show you I decided to make a Jacob's ladder, and here we go. So you need a high voltage power source. Mm, yeah. You need some capacitors. Which I made these. I'll show you how to make them in a different video. You need to make a primary coil. This is I think eight turns. Your secondary coil, which is this is a I think four to one ratio. This being one, this being the four times that. Stick a light bulb on the end there so it, it looks cool with a light bulb. And this is another coil I made. And I'll be showing you how to make everything. Just explaining everything right now. This coil, this is just went with it, went up. And it shows in the middle here. And this is my first coil, very tiny. Um. Okay. And your coil doesn't have to be up like this, it can be flat. This is what I used for my first coil, it was flat. Okay. And. need some a spark gap of some sort. Okay, sorry, my battery's dead. Um you're gonna need some sort of spark gap. You can make a, I think it's called a static spark gap, which is many tiny spark gaps, which is a lot quieter which you'll see in a bit. Make a rotary spark gap, which the motor spins the thing around. Which I'll make one later if I feel like it. And yeah, I'm gonna put this all together and show you how it works. And how good it works. It doesn't work that good. So I haven't tuned it. Okay, be back in a bit. Yeah. Okay. And I'm sure you guys something cool. A CD. Go to flat. I'll plug it in. I'm just using an old plug.
That's how you destroy a CD. If you don't want anybody to know, it's on your CD. Yeah, it was fun.